The Frosh duo helped number 8 Duke beat Wake Forest without Coach K. Banchero and Griffin led the way as the Blue Devils suddenly stretched out a two-possession lead in the final minute of the first half then carried a scorchingly hot hand into the second that wobbled the Demon Deacons for good. Griffin ended the first half by pump-faking Kothamsai off his feet and then stepping over to knock down a corner three-pointer, just before the horn for the 35-29 lead. The Blue Devils made their last four shots of the first half, then roared out of the break by making their first nine shots. Alonz Williams scored 25 points for the Demon Deacons who had the Blue Devils in a tight game coming down the first half stretch and led 29-27 on Dallas Waltons and one dunk with 54.1 seconds left. But the Demon Deacons erased a stretch of quality minutes with a shaky finish that jump-started Duke's run-turned landslide. Big picture. Duke, this was the Blue Devils' third game back from a COVID-19 outbreak that led to two postponements. They returned by shooting a season-low 37% in the win against Georgia Tech then committed a season-worst 17 turnovers in the Miami law. Along the way, Grishevsky said it would take time for the Blue Devils to rebuild their conditioning to full-go game shape. This time, Duke shot 61% after halftime and 51% for the game while also making 7 of 15 three-pointers, with Griffin in particular continuing to blossom. Wake Forest, second-year coach Steve Forbes has brought a spark to the program after years of struggle, and it showed here with a loud home crowd including a full and rowdy student section commonplace for the Chris Paul era in the mid-2000s. The Demon Deacons gave reason for the buzz by erasing an early eight-point hole and getting into a tight game, only to see this one unravel with a few ill-timed turnovers just before halftime to help Duke make its move. Up next, most popular former Houston high school stars in this year's NFL playoff. Internet roasts Bill O'Brien as Alabama struggles in title game. Trinidad Olympic sprinter Dion Lendor killed in Texas crash. Cypher ISD school board member blames black teachers for HISD student dropout rate. Canelo Alvarez may fight Jermal Charlo on Cinco de Mayo weekend. What Rachel Bokovec said about the Astros in her introductory press conference. Baylor, Houston only Texas schools to finish season ranked. Duke, hosts North Carolina State on Saturday. Wake Forest, at Virginia on Saturday. Follow Aaron Beard on Twitter at HTTPS. Ugh. Slash Twitter.com slash Aaron Beard app. More AP College Basketball, HTTPS. Ugh slash appnews.com slash hub slash college basketball and https ugh slash appnews.com slash hub slash ap top 25 college of basketball poll and https ugh slash twitter.com slash ap top 25